Hang on. Well, I told you I was going to do one more. Uh, I did this, this last pour, and it was a Shelly Art inspired flip cup, and it went so well. I decided I ought to do another one before I went to bed. Figured I was on a roll, if there is such a thing in this business. Um, anyway, I got these old canvases that either have had something damaged or I just don't like anymore. And uh, So anyway, I'm trying to use them so I don't have to order more. Um, in these cups is uh, pigment and paint. There's cell activator, which is Floetrol and Amsterdam White in a, well, this one's about a three to one ratio. I've been trying to do them in the two to one because I think it works better, but I over poured the Floetrol a little bit. But there's that white. There is 24 karat gold with Arteza Gold Pigment. There is um, one of the Color Art Blues, I believe it's Sapphire with uh, Thalo Blue Paint, Master's Touch. There is Peacock Feather Color Art Pigment with Metallic Green Artist Loft Paint. And then there's another Color Art Blue, which I don't know the name of, um, maybe Sky Blue. And it's mixed with Master's Touch Sky Blue Paint. And let's see, then I said, did I say Key Lime? There's Key Lime uh, Color Art Pigment with um, that brilliant yellow green by Liquitex um, paint. And I got three of these because I did three on this size canvas last time and it was just like the perfect amount of paint. And I spun it after I turned it over and it was pretty cool, I thought. Um, these have got cell activator in the bottom of each cup and in the middle and on the top. And um, I thought that was going to be way too much white in the last one, but it's that earth tone one um, that I did, and um, it really wasn't. There wasn't hardly any white, actually. I don't know what happened to it. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to give these a minute because they take so long to filter down, and I'm not doing a base coat on these because I'm worried about crazing, and because I didn't do a base coat on the last one and it worked fine. Um, I didn't do one on the last one because I forgot. And so, I figured if it worked the first time, why mess with it, you know. I'm afraid that'd be too much white, and I'm afraid it'd be too much paint, and I really don't see the point. Because these are not going to produce cells that go all the way to the canvas anyway. They may make a few cells, but they're not going to make those real deep cells, probably. Um, and if they do, I'll do what I always do. I'll just get some paint and fill it in. But I don't do base coats on my flip cups normally, um, or my swipes. Um, I just don't really see the point. My regular swipes. Now, I've made a distinction because on my Shelly Art swipes, I do put a base coat down because I'm going to be blowing that paint or spinning that paint or whatever, and I really want it to be as flexible and movable as possible. So, on those, you know, they say that having a base coat helps the paint to move, and so if there's a chance that's true, then I'm going to put one down on those. But regular pouring medium and paint, you know, Floetrol and glue and, um, you know, my regular pouring medium, I don't worry about it flowing. It flows just fine. I don't think I need a base coat of paint to make it flow. Um, I think that's just a waste of paint. So, I don't do it on my normal ones. But on these, I think it's probably a good idea. And the consistency of these, I want to say something about that because I did not thin these. And I've been not thinning them. And they're really thick. But I think they work better that way. Um, I've been doing some experiments with that. And the way I feel about it right now is um, I don't add a whole lot of paint. About a quarter's worth. Just a blob. Um, and so whatever that makes the consistency, it's pretty thick. Um, you know, it'll run off the stick, but it, it's kind of slow to do so. And um, I think that um, that makes the colors stay more distinct. Um, while I did get great mixing in the last one, but they stay distinct. In other words, there's no muddying. Um, so I have not been, um, uh, diluting mine any, um, lately. But, you know, I'm always changing my mind. I'm always doing experiments and seeing, you know, what I think works best. And, uh, and that changes from day to day, so... 
right now that's how I feel about it. Um, tomorrow I might feel differently. Um, there's a bunch of white down there in the, it's kind of bluish white now, but down there, there's some white. These are so thick. I mean, you think they're going to be too thick. You know, that's the way it feels. But, um, I don't know. It's working really well. Look at all those cells. I mean, it's crazy. And I don't have any glue or any uh, silicone in these either. Um, I did um, add those things for a while. Um, but they seem to do just fine on their own. So, um, I, I don't add those. In fact, I think they do better. I don't really know why, but, um, that's the way it seems. Now, last time I spun this, and I think I'll spin this one too, just for the hell of it, because I don't know what it's going to do. I'm not going to do it real hard, because it's already pouring off the side, that one side. But see this lacing that happens? That's awesome. One more time. Okay. Cool. That gold looks yellow. Doesn't look like gold. It looks like yellow. And that's got 24 karat gold in it. This looks like gold. That looks like yellow. But it's beautiful, so I don't care. Get this tape now. wants to just come off okay all right let's see here I love the lacing and that spinning makes the lacing just like go everywhere you know um, let's just tilt it down and cover that end a little bit more then I want to go this way just a little bit Pour a little bit of this paint off. Um, I know y'all can't see. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm just kind of gonna swoop down. Well, I'll swoop up, I guess, and then down. That's really pretty. I love it. I'm just going to pour a little paint off this corner because this will make it where there's a lacing all throughout. If I get it off that corner and get it off this corner, then I'll have lacing throughout. Dang it, the cells over there. Um, I may have to eat my words. I may have some cells that go all the way down. I don't know. This is looking pretty promising here. I don't understand where that yellow... Oh, I know. It's because that, that's, that's that yellow green. I was thinking I had just used green, but that's that yellow green. Um, it's just looking a lot yellower than usual. It's not the gold that's doing that. It's that key, uh, brilliant yellow green. Stretching it a little bit more, and um, I don't. Let's see. I don't like it just like that. I'm afraid if I mess with it too much, uh, I'll mess it up and it looks pretty good. I wish, see now here's the thing. That cell activator, it makes the lacing stronger if the cell activator is more concentrated. In other words, if it's a two to one ratio rather than a three to one. I've done some experimentation on it. 
because this time I told you I overflowed the flow trowel a little bit. Um, when I've done it before, I've been real careful to be sure I had, um, you know, uh, exact, well, not exactly, I don't do anything exact, but pretty much two parts um, flow trowel to one part um, paint. And that's what works best for me as far as lacing goes, because I want to see the lacing. I want it to be independent and strong and, um, you know, vivid. And it gets kind of hard to see if the flow trawl dilutes that paint too much. See, like, this has got lacing throughout, but you can't see it from back here. If you get up close, you can. So, let's look. Look at that gold. Isn't that beautiful? And I didn't plan on the yellow standing out so yellowy, but it's okay. Um, I'm on, I'm out of the key lime. I mean, the Liquitex lime green is why I'm using that brilliant yellow green. I didn't exactly plan on yellow being one of my colors here, but it's pretty. Um, see that lacing is there, but it's very faint. And um, when the cell activator mix is uh, more concentrated, you can see the lacing better, I think. But, um, there's some little cells. Um, it just, that's just a matter of personal preference, I guess. Um, there's a bunch of cells over in here. See, I just like to see the lacing look, um, more dominant, like it is right there. And down here, it's more like that. It's still pretty. Um, I just like to see it more pronounced. Anyway, that's a pretty piece, I think. Um, I want to thank y'all for being here and joining me uh, this time and every time. It's always wonderful um, that somebody's paying any attention to what I'm doing. And um, I want y'all to um, please wash your hands and stay inside and stay safe. You know, this thing is really serious and it scares me. So, y'all... Um, for a little bit longer, we gotta hang in there and, you know, ugh, do what we're told. Ugh. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate y'all, and I hope you stay safe and healthy, and join me next time. Alright, until then, have a good night. Bye-bye.